Start your Steam client and search for Arma 3. You only need to buy the basic game, Arma 3. Normally it's less than 30 euro, because it's a rather old game, released in 2013. If you wait for a Steam sale, the price will be even lower. In your Steam client, go to the Community tab and select Workshop. Search for Arma 3's workshop page. Search for Zombies and Demons. Click on Zombies and Demons made by Ryan. Click on the Subscribe button. Inside Steam, click on Arma 3 to initiate the launcher. Inside the Arma launcher, select Mods. Activate the Zombies and Demons mod by dragging it to the Loaded Mods section. Click the Play button to start the game. Once inside the game, click on the Editor and randomly select the map. On your keyboard, use the traditional A, S, D and W keys to fly around. And if you right-click, you can move the camera around. First, we need a playable unit. Click on Objects. Here we have the Blue Force, the Red Force, Independent, Civilians and Props. I'm just going to insert a soldier from the Blue Force team. Now if you press the Shift key on your keyboard and click and drag, you can change his direction. If you want to change any settings for a person, just double click on him. I'll just change his name. If you want to change the outfit, just right click and select Edit Loadout. You can right click and drag to spin him around. Mouse wheel to zoom in and out. Now the fun begins. Individual zombies are on their objects and the red force uh, or the green neutral force. Let's use the red op force to place a few zombies here. On your keyboard, press Q and C to move up and down. Zombie hordes are on their compositions. Now let's test the map by clicking the Play Scenario button. Well, that was fun. Now we need to insert some zombie control modules. Under Assets and System, you'll find the control modules for the zombies. For example, drag in the Difficulty Settings module. You can put it anywhere you want. Double-click to open and change 
for example, the damage that the zombies will do to a human. With the max health settings module, you can change the zombies to make them stronger or weaker. With the zombie abilities module, you can let them roam around and even eat their victims. Zombie settings makes it possible for the zombies to attack civilians. Finally, the spawner module. It's just as its name implies, a zombie spawner. Double click it and change the settings to whatever you want. Let's put the spawner here. On the grass, on the grass, on the grass. Now let's play this scenario and see what happens. Now let's lower the criteria for head decapitation. In conclusion, the zombie mod is really fun. As I said, you only need the basic game, Arma 3. But I recommend that you get the Arma 3 Ultimate Edition. It includes the game and many more armored vehicles, tanks, helicopters and much more. Wait until there's a Steam sale to pay less than 40 euro for that Ultimate Edition. In the Zombies and Demons workshop page, you'll find a discussion forum and a comments section, perfect for tips and tricks and asking questions. There's also a Reddit page for Arma, where you can get help. Good luck and don't let the zombies eat your brain.